Dan and this is Hey guys. We are the experimental expediters. We are on permanent vacation, a working vacation. We left our jobs, our corporate jobs with secure incomes, daily, uh, weekly paychecks. Nine to five. Nine guys. to five. <laughs> know what to expect every day, kind of got bored of it. And we are on a paid vacation. It's been seven and a half months of fun, excitement. We've seen the whole country, Canada, Montreal, Toronto. And we are going to talk to you guys about it, how you might be able to do this as well. And you can join us for the adventure, the experimental expediters, right after this. up here all day because sitting out there it gets kind of boring. My back's bothering me. My neck hurts. My stomach hurts. So we we're kind just, of just... We're like old people. We just came back from visiting the grandbaby. We had a whole week at home. Yeah, so it was kind of like a drag to get back and deal with this virus stuff, you know. We had a week at home and then uh, we got a run from Kennedy Space Center to Houston. And now we want to get to Dallas to AA Sleepers where they built our truck, have a couple things looked at. And we couldn't find anything to Dallas, but we did find a pickup on Wednesday, which goes from where Dallas to Colorado. So hopefully, yeah. So we're driving tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll find something on Monday or Tuesday for a local runs or something, and then we'll. If not, we're going to have some small paychecks. But, but the runs have not been that good either. Yeah. It's been dollar. -ish. Runs, the pay is a little lower. Uh, the fuel is also gone down considerably. So you expect to see the rates go down because of the fuel, but the, I don't think it's commensurate to fuel decreases. So well, but there's fewer runs. And some some teams are home. I'm hearing some teams aren't. Yeah, they're not wanting to deal with the virus. I don't blame them. But we've been very good when we go inside to use the restroom or get something to eat, which tomorrow we're going to go to Walmart and stock up. That way we don't have to leave the truck if we don't need to. Yeah, it's best to stay in. We cook our own meals more. We'll save money, but we'll also reduce the risk, utilize our shower and toilet a little more. But so when we come back, we just hand sanitize our hands and, and life is good. But you said you noticed a stronger chemical smell in the showers? Mm -hmm. Haven't you? No. But, uh, I smell more of... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I know what you mean. More of I a think clean... About it. Yeah. 
I think they're using something a little bit more strong, which is good. They need to. You know, because, you know, being out on the road like this, you know, we do have the shower here, but it's really nice to just have a whole big shower to yourself and, you know, it's nice and hot. Yeah. But if it gets any worse, then we we'll have to use up more water. It, then i got to find places to fill the water. And that's not an easy task either. So and now that it's going to be summer-ish, yeah. Yeah, up north, um, they shut the water lines off at the, at the pumps at most of the truck stops because they don't want their lines freezing and um, they're not being used. So it's harder to find places to fill our tank with water and our truck. Our truck has a tank that yeah, supplies we're the going sink going and to, um, shower. We're going to but this um, not a problem. Colorado this week. And it's still cold up there. And it's freezing. It's 33. That's why I think, I think what they're saying is by the spring, for sure by summer, that this virus should mellow out. And you know, I, I know we're not complaining because a lot of people have died from this, so we are not complaining. Yeah. We have our help, the three of us, and my and Maggie. Maggie, yeah. So we're not complaining. I'd just be glad when it gets back to normal. Yeah, me too. But we just have to take a lot of extra precautions. And even how we do business, we're going, we're making a delivery. We were, we, we've got a friend of ours made these masks. I don't know how she did it. They look like professional masks, handmade from scratch. And she even yeah. made the straps two different colors, so we know whose is whose. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, we could do this. I wouldn't know how. I'd have a cotton ball if I tried to do this. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, well... But what What about in banks? They don't want you to wear any masks when you go into a bank because they're afraid you're going to rob them. But the banks are all closed, so it don't matter. That's true. Everybody's <laughs> working from home. So, yeah. So, but uh, but uh, my friend Isaac and Lizzie, thank you to them for making these because it's a lifesaver. Um, yeah, Ooh, I mean, some places, are, some states are requiring these now, and you can't go to the store and buy them very easily. So, yep, it, uh, like in Florida and Osceola County, if you don't have a mask on when you're out in public, you will get a five hundred dollar fine or sixty days in jail. Yeah. So. And you'll be right next to someone who has a COVID nineteen virus. So and you get it. That's so. a sentence, all right. So people, protect yourself and. Yeah. If you have a mask, put it on. It doesn't prevent you from getting it, but... Yeah, you gotta be safe. You gotta do things you don't normally think about. Like when we're out making a delivery, don't, I don't have them in my pen anymore. And if, you know, if they don't have one and I have to let them use mine, I'm gonna alcohol my, my pen and my hands and everything. I don't hand them my clipboard. I, I, I put it down and let them sign it. That way they're not handling it. And it's just stuff you never think about. Don't um, touch your face. Yeah. If you have Stop a mask on, my hands are clean. If you keep that mask on, you're less likely to touch your face yeah. too. So that mask is uncomfortable and not used to it. You breathe out, it's hot. The one we have is very comfortable. Uh, the ones I've worn in the past, I hated them. Uh, used to have to go into operating rooms and, and hospitals and stuff with these masks, and nobody I hated them. Uh, never got used to that. But so um, yeah, Dan's cooking tonight. We're having pork chops. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Rice. Potato, I think we're gonna have sweet potatoes. Tonight. Oh. Sweet potato. I'll make some rice. I love rice. I'll make some rice. Um, <coughs> some Spanish rice and sweet potato and uh, got a vegetable. I think I have some frozen vegetables. We got to go to Walmart and restock. There's some veggies. Yeah. So we'll restock. Uh, I recommend doing most of the cooking now. Uh, the crafty truckers out there, um, we're doing. I heard them in a video recently. Uh, shout out to you. And we should have. We should have been. Yeah, we've been doing too much fast food, and you don't know if they, they don't even know they might have the virus making your exactly. burger or chicken sandwich. Yeah. Or it's better to stay in if you can, besides... Now, I, I was told the food money. itself isn't going to transmit the virus necessarily, because your stomach isn't, you're not going to get it through your stomach. However, the package that they wrap it in, if they're not using gloves and they just did did that or something. I'm oh, sorry. But if they if they just <coughs> and then they wrap your burger and then you open the burger, you just touch the outside of the package and now you you know. So 
either way. That's just, you know. So guys, just be safe. Use precaution. You know, if you're going outside, just uh, make sure you wear your mask or uh, even a scarf or a cloth or lots of times I wear big old shirts. I can open the door with this and if you have gloves, wear your gloves. Just use precautions and be safe. And we're, we're going to make sure our doors are always locked, we always have, but there's people that are out of work and might not have money coming in and they might be more willing to do pretty much anything to get Yeah, we saw some pretty money. shady people in the parking lot earlier. The police were here. I don't know what they were doing, but they, I mean, it's a scary time. It is. You know, we just got to be careful. These are not what, what it is, you know. Yeah, you gotta, uh, yeah so people are trying to clean rims for money. People are starting to be desperate for money now. I, I say most people live uh, paycheck to paycheck, and when the paycheck stop coming, yeah, you got to... There's going to be some desperate people out there. So. Not true. Uh, some truck stop areas are more dangerous than others, closer to major cities. Yeah, um, we're not far from Houston, this, the, the city, city part. We're so that's right if, if you can get your um, your seatbelt through the door handle and latch it, because if someone has one of those Slim Jim things to open the door lock, you got an extra sense of security. Or get a little baggy shift. Or have your security dog like we do. Yeah, we have our little security animal. She alerts us to anything. Mm -hmm. So, well, stay safe out there. We're going to keep trucking. We're going to keep getting runs. We're going to hopefully we'll be part of uh, getting supplies needed to places. Um, I know this next run we're doing is for the space program. Uh, but so we've, we've gotten some pharmaceutical stuff, and I've, I've actually we seen runs out there with hand, barrels of hand sanitizer and things like yeah, that. Yeah, we did the laptop thing. We did, we did a whole truckload of laptops to a for school. For the school in Indiana that, you know, of course there's no school. So they need laptops. They need their laptops, so that was pretty cool. I mean, you know, for what we're doing, you know, it is risky. I'd rather be home with my family and my grandbaby, but I think... But we also have a job. But we that have has a job. We have a job to do and get needed, you know, needed equipment yep. to various um, places. And since our truck is our home, we are staying home mostly. <laughs> as long as we stay in the truck as much as we can. Yeah, true. And uh, most people, a lot of people who have jobs can't work because their place is shut down or they have to stay home. So we're lucky to be able to work from our mobile home. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so even phone. the runs are not paying as much. It's a job. We're still, well, still, we're still kicking. We are. You know. And other people. We saw Melissa. Up. We did get a chance to see yeah, Melissa. Yeah, we should have videoed some of that. We got yeah. to see our, um, our, I call her our truck angel. Yeah, she's a sweetie. Um, and her when, hubby. When we're on the road, we have a problem, or have a question, or anything about anything, we, we text her and. Everything gets taken care of. Um, or if our truck broke down on the road, she would be calling us before we even knew what was wrong because the telemetry system. Uh, but we, yeah, she, she came and checked out our truck. She'd never been inside one of the trucks, uh, seen them on the outside, so it was, it was nice. Uh, yeah, it was cool. It was good to see her. And her husband. Yeah, very nice. Um, but we'll keep on trucking. And we're lucky other members of our family are, are um, yeah, in businesses that keep going, like the grocery business and mm -hmm. uh, food yeah. production business. Uh, they're, they're, they're not shutting down. Yeah. So it's working out. You guys take care. Be safe. Yep. Wear your mask if you have them. That's for sure. you got to just think about everything two steps ahead so you don't get sick. And you still never know.